Who? <coughs> Must have been me, sir. Very briefly. We've discussed before we have a Motor Model 2008 vehicle that, for the grace of God and Chief Brown, that's still running on the road. And we're able to keep it maintained. We've been able to dodge the bullet twice on this vehicle. I'd like the council to entertain the idea of allowing the police department to purchase another police vehicle outfitted and still retain the 2008 for backup. Because I think we still have a little bit of run in the dog there, is what I'd like to do. It would be the council's pleasure whether we can possibly afford a 2014, which I'd have to bring you figures, for a 2015 model vehicle. The equipment would be taken out of the existing 2008 vehicle, turned <coughs> over, the same as what we did to the other new cars. What would the, uh, the reservists be using? Would be the, the 2008. Would it would have no equipment in it. It would have the radar, it would have the sirens, and they would have a walkie-talkie on the side. Would he be riding with a... In the beginning, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Until completely, he would be riding with an officer. Yes, okay, sir. well, let's, let's stay on point, point of order. Um, sure. The car, uh, what, what kind of price were we looking at? The other vehicles were about 24-7. I'm thinking with the 2015s coming in, that there may be a pre-existing 2014 brand new that's sitting on somebody's lot that they're afraid they need to get rid of with the police package. I'd have to call Cass Birch and get them started doing research and come back with figures. And how much with everything? I mean, I'm talking lettering, everything. We pay approximately 32000 per vehicle is what we pay. With light salary and everything. A whole shoot match with about approximately 32000 And your budget for Splash 7 is? $22.99. Uh, unsure, sir. I'm not, I think it's somewhere around 40 to 48 Okay. Possibly. And what I'd be entertaining is getting the best deal that we can the cheapest rate. Right? Okay. Um, this also allows us to roll the cars out. Yeah. Council, how do you feel about that? Let me, let me put, put this into the, into the works. We got caught kind of with our pants down when we let the cars get too old, and then we had three cars that were just in horrible shape. Um, the Crown Vicks, um, I don't want to see them happen again. What I want to see is the cars rotate through. Um, and we need to do that. Um, I don't know if we need to do that now or if we, have, if we need to do that later, but the money is in the police uh, splash budget for that. Let's put this off from January till we get to get into that budget. Okay. In the still. meantime, can you keep your eye out and see what's out there and come yeah. back in January and we will reapproach this? I'll be more than happy. A lot of times when it comes to law enforcement vehicles, Mr. Up, you're aware of that too. They try to get rid of them as fast as they can in December so that they don't have to pay a double add on tax for the okay. dealership. But I'll be more than happy to do that. And if the council wishes, I can entertain some other ideas and bring them to you. That'd be great. Thank, Thank you. you. Will you put that on the agenda for January, please? Okay, phone number.